Hey, y'all, don't forget to hit these buttons while you're listening. The U.S. Supreme Court is to hear a challenge to Mexico's suit against American pew-pew companies. No idea that this was happening. Paul, to read the summary if you'd like. I'm going to just go through the article. The U.S. Supreme Court agreed on Friday to hear a bid by U.S. pew-pew maker Smith & Wesson and firearms wholesaler Interstate Arms to throw out Mexico's lawsuit accusing them of aiding the illegal trafficking of fire of pew-pews to Mexican D-rug cartels. The justices took up an appeal by the two companies of a lower court's refusal to dismiss Mexico's suit, which was filed in federal court in Boston in 2021 under a 2005 U.S. law that broadly shields pew-pew companies from liability for crimes committed with their products. The Supreme Court is due to hear the case during its nine-month term that begins on Monday. So Mexico had originally sued seven U.S. gun manufacturers, PPU manufacturers, Smith & Wesson, Barrett, Beretta, Century Arms, Colt, Glock & Ruger, as well as Interstate Arms. Six PPU manufacturers were later removed from the case on procedural grounds, leaving Smith & Wesson and Interstate Arms as the remaining defendants. The nine-count complaint included allegations that the companies violated state laws by aiding and abetting tra the trafficking of pew-pews to Mexican D-rug cartels, helping to fuel what Mexico has called an epidemic of violence. The lawsuit accused the pew-pew companies of unlawfully designing and marketing their products with the aim of driving up demand among the cartels, including by associating their civilian products with the U.S. military and law enforcement. It also accused the companies of knowingly maintaining a distribution system that included firearms dealers who conspire with third-party or straw purchasers who traffic pew-pews to cartels in Mexico. Defendants use this head-in-the-sand approach to deny responsibility while knowingly profiting from the criminal trade, Mexico suit stated. The estimated value of all pew-pews trafficked from the U.S. into Mexico, counting those made by the defendants and other manufacturers, totaled more than $250 million annually, according to the lawsuit. Mexico is seeking monetary damages of an unspecified amount estimated in the billions of dollars, and a court order requiring the pew-pew companies to take steps to abate and remedy the public nuisance they have created in Mexico. A majority of the 180,000 hom... involving pew-pews in Mexico, a country with strict firearms laws from 2007 to 2019, were committed with weapons trafficked from the U.S., according to the court filings in this case. Up to two-thirds of intentional homo in Mexico in the recent years have borne signs of organized crime, including the use of high-powered weapons, multiple victims, evidence of torture, and messages linked to specific criminal groups, according to a 2021 report by the University of San Diego. According to the lawsuit, Pew Pew Violence, a fueled by smuggled U.S.-made firearms, has contributed to a decline in business investment and economic activity in Mexico and forced its government to incur unusually high costs on services, including health care, law enforcement, and the military. The Pew Pew Company, seeking to dismiss the suit, argued that the litigation was barred by 2005 federal law known as the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act, which protects firearms manufacturers and distributors, distributors from liability for the criminal misuse of their products. U.S. District Judge Dennis Saylor in Boston sided with the companies in 2022 and threw out the case, finding that this law seeks to prohibit exactly this type of the type of claim that is currently before this court. On appeal, the Boston-based First U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals reversed Saylor's decision in January and ruled that the suit could proceed. The First Circuit found that Mexico had plausibly claimed that the U.S. pew-pew companies aided in abetting the knowingly unlawful downstream trafficking of their pew-pews into Mexico, causing injury to the government conduct that falls outside the law's protections. Yay. In appealing to the Supreme Court, the companies argued that the suit seeks to bully the industry into adopting a host of pew-pew control measures that have been repeatedly rejected by American voters. Y'all. 
We'll see what they have to say. Don't forget to hit those buttons over there. I hope your day doesn't suck. Okay, love y'all. Bye.